like Toronto, Peel and Ottawa who got less than 12 hours notice for that rollback last week. York Region is getting a weekend to wrap things up before those new restrictions go into effect 1201 Monday. Now that's because Ford says he knows these types of decisions can be devastating to small businesses and he wants to give them time to deal with stock and inventory that they might have gotten in anticipation of this weekend. Now he says that this decision was a very difficult one that he hates making, but he knows it's necessary in order to avoid a full lockdown. I'm up till midnight re returning calls, talking to these people, listening to them uh, literally cry on the phone. That, that rips your heart out, but tr trust me when I say that. So yeah, 100%, it, it, it bothers me and I have to listen to the health experts. But again, I'm gonna repeat what I said the other day. We have to weigh economic versus health. Now here's the data that brought the province to this decision. It wasn't just case numbers. The case rate increased by 49% in the last two weeks above the provincial average. And hospitalizations have doubled in the last week with the number of patients in York Region needing an ICU bed jumping from 63 to 72 and those needing a ventilator up to 25 from 19. Now, York Region will be under modified stage two for 28 days. That means no gyms, movie theaters, or indoor dining. We spoke with Markham Mayor Frank Scarpetti. He says the move is unfortunately necessary, especially because people move so freely between borders in the GTA. This second wave came earlier than anticipated. Uh, it's, you know, it's akin to a natural disaster. When you have a flood, a fire, a hurricane coming, um, you do what you got to do. So I do appreciate the fact that they've given been given a couple of days so that they can use some of their existing uh, inventory and try to minimize, at least for now, some of that financial impact. And as well, uh, the 300 million the province is offering up to assist restaurants. Now the mayor is also asking people to support small businesses by ordering takeout this weekend and beyond. Now there's also the question about whether Halton might be next. The province's chief medical officer of health had expressed concerns this week on rising numbers there. The premier is urging everyone to continue to mask up and social distance so that that can be avoided. Now, the province was also asked about flu shots, and they clarified the Minister of Health saying that uh, there is no shortage. And uh, while pharmacies may be uh, slowly running out, uh, they are receiving regular shipments from global manufacturers, and they don't have any problem with supply. So the province has ordered about 5 million more than last year.